Two very contrasting quarterfinals. One with the last kick of the game, the other at a canter. Six days to recover and go again. This will focus the mind. Now it's crunch time to step up and be the best of the best. And now, it's to look to run through Henshaw. They keep it alive as well. Tap through, Tambwe had a slight slip, and here goes O'Loughlin. If he can control it, it might come for Sheehan. He rolls over. Dan Sheehan. And a perfectly weighted grubber, a little bit fortuitous there. But look at that work rate from your hooker. Second man behind your winger. And there to pick up the scraps and just reward for his hard work. And the cheers go up for Ross Byrne as he slots the extra two. Leinster do get the numbers back. Katsia and Smith combine again. So too. Norkia and not rolling away will mean the penalty goes the Bulls way a good time to get off that zero as we say and Chris Smith who was perfect with the boots last week delivers the first three points for the Vodacom Bulls Down side. the Bulls fancying a sniff at a try of their own. Side. There's advantage side. coming for offside. Advantage line off. Can they side. get through to breach that one final tackle? They certainly can. And it's the teenage fullback, Kanan Moody, who goes over in the corner. No, there's separation there, isn't there? Yeah. 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 It's yeah, clear it's and it. obvious for me. Now it was off penalty advantage, so they will go back to that. Pressure. That was particularly it's semi final time. No, no, no. It's a big mistake. You can't be grinding that ball with one hand. Time off. Are you playing? But the Bulls okay. will be hugely encouraged that on the they'll line. probably go to a tap and go here now Quiet, and take please. this pack on again. Elric Lowe will be the man to carry it, although it's on to Hrobelar. Yeah! There's no stopping it this time. Yeah! Johan Hrobelar scores the try. Well, and they could only be held down for a matter of seconds. A little bit of an insight. Is this straight out of the Jake White playbook? That's a beautiful little set piece. It's a terrifying prospect when he charges at full tilt. He's looking for the ball again there at the base of the rock. He's being helped on by Gerhard Steenkamp, and now it comes out to Marcel Kutsia. It's another try for the Bulls. And this was one of runners low from the back of the lineout, but also again that Jake White mark of sleight of hand, a lovely little move at the back of the lineout, set up for the big drive, and then the one off runner, Marcel Kutsia, just picked it up around his ankles. The midfield access of Henshaw and Ringrose setting up this attack. The There's further advantage coming here for Leinster. Way. This is what they do so well to grind you down. Joe McCarthy. And over for the score. Leinster got there. And it's Robbie Henshaw back into the team. And then Leinster, Joe McCarthy, this is the game that they had to play the first few minutes. They were trying to force things, just trying to play a little bit too elaborately. And Henshaw started it all with that flick pass and ended it with a superb finish. Great strength in contact. Norkia rises high as it's now in the hands of Valt Steenkamp. Krobelar attaches himself to the back of this ball that is rampaging towards the Leinster line. There's advantage coming as it's penalty taken try. down. And the referee goes under the post. It's a penalty try. And that could be a crucial moment in this game. There's going to be further punishment for Leinster. And it's going to see James Ryan, their captain, go to the bin. It's unstoppable. Certainly legally. Ruddock on. That's a better line out from Leinster. Here's Sexton picks the pass to Henshaw and Larmer now goes through, returns it to Ringrose, and he gets it on to O'Brien. And in the corner goes O'Loughlin. Leinster get the score that they have been craving for so, so long. Leinster will fight to.
to the deck. It's one of those straight off the training park, isn't it? Great line from Larmer. And then the flooding through. Nice handling, everyone getting a touch of the ball. That's really well worked from Leinster. It's the first time that we've seen them put a phase of play together where everything has been crisp, the handling has been sharp, ball in front of each other. And we spoke a few moments ago, it, it felt for the last 10 minutes they were on the verge of scoring. He's done it so many times before, but this one will slide past. It will be a five-point game. Lama just loses his footing at the key moment. And the knock-on. Oh, that's a horrible, horrible one. At exactly the wrong time. Mornay Stain, the man who sunk the Lions for the Springboks right through the middle. It was never in doubt. Mornay Stain gives the Bulls an eight-point advantage with less than four minutes to go. Now Sexton. It's all or nothing for Leinster. Ring rose, it's knocked on. The fourth best team in the league, if you go by the finishing standings. They've come to the home of the reigning champions. The number one team in the competition. And the Bulls have created a major shock. Out it comes from O'Brien to Ringrose. And the Bulls have had to, had to absorb so much that Leinster have thrown at them since they got that 10-point advantage. Time off. This will be immaterial to Time the off. result. No more. It's about no. pride for Play. Leinster now. Taken by Sheehan, Stay he's back. certainly Stay given point. it everything. Advantage, no arm. There's Healy, there's another penalty coming. They might not need it because the try is scored. And Kian Healy, the last man to emerge. Yeah, you can see Kian Healy just squeezing over, pushing over there and tackled by his old mate Bismarck Duplessis. They faced each other at various different levels. It's easy to hug when you know you've won. <laughs> Over it goes from Sexton. That is it. This is a statement moment in the URC. The Bulls have come to Dublin and they have knocked over the reigning champions.